Hi guys, I just thought I'd make a video about the discussion that we had on the Dark Frogs UK group a couple of days ago now uh, regarding um, the mixed species within my terrarium. So I keep a number of different species. I've got Dendrobates auratus and Dendrobates leucomelus, as well as three golden mantellas. Now I bought these all around the same time at Doncaster Reptile Show and um, I researched the, the care requirements for mantellas, leucomelus and auratus and it was virtually identical. It had to be high humidity, well planted tanks, um, you know, kept around 23 to 25 degrees but not over 25 degrees because you overheat the frogs and this virtually is the same for mantellas as well. Um, so I decided to keep them together because I knew I could cater for their needs and because they were all the same age they were really tiny froglets um, so I put them in the tank um, not knowing anything about this hybrid beef that's um, going on at the moment in the dark frog community um, I'll give you a bit of an idea of the be why people are against mixed species so the first reason is because it's not natural well, it's not natural to keep frogs in a glass tank either. It's not natural to look at frogs in such close proximity when they would naturally hop off in the wild and escape you. So that argument's out the window. The second argument is for the safety of the frogs. Now, these frogs cannot harm each other in my tank. The Oratus and the Leucomelus and the Golden Mantillas, they can't harm each other. They don't have any aggressive behaviours between them. Uh, at the most one might hop onto the, the other one but there's not going to be any aggression and I closely observe this there hasn't been a single bit of aggression whatsoever barring one frog m might have jumped on the other just to m move it across but that's about it um, but you have to be careful with certain types of dendrobates so den dendrobates tinctorious and uh, sorry it does rhyme but the tinctorious is notorious for wrestling um, they do grab hold of competitors and will sling them about and this can cause a great deal of distress for the frogs and they can also um, actually drag them into ponds and, and um, drown them from while they're doing this wrestling thing nobody knows if it's on purpose or if it's by accident but that is known to happen so that's the argument on about the safety of the frogs yes I would agree with Tinctorius, although I don't keep that species of frog, so I won't ever have a problem with that. The third reason is pathogens. Now, some frogs can carry certain pathogens that other frogs would not be able to um, have the immune system to defend. So it could be something to do with a fungal infection that they carry and just naturally would pass on to the other frogs. Now, I didn't know anything about this before I got my frogs, but what what I can say is all my frogs are very, very healthy, um, and this hasn't happened. They haven't contracted any diseases from this. So the third arg argument's out of the window. Then you've got to look at the fourth argument, and this is hybridization. Now, a hybrid is two separate species um, mating with each other and creating um, half of each species in a hybrid so for instance a horse and a donkey would make uh, a mule and this is a hybrid which generally tend to be sterile but they can still sometimes breed now I have never had the intention of breeding dart frogs I literally just keep them for observational purposes and all of a sudden I put in some huts to cater for the, the frogs, give them a place to hide and they started laying eggs and making tadpoles in the in the hut. Now um, I took these out and nurtured them because they were at tadpole stage at that time and I wouldn't um, I wouldn't cull them. Um, a lot of people have been saying you should cull the eggs and the reason why they're saying this is because they don't want um, a species of dart frog to go extinct in the trade. For instance, if you mixed um, certain types of dendrobates together and it came out looking identical, it might go into the open market, um, breed with others, and you don't have pure breed frogs then. Nobody actually knows what they've got. So the actual natural frog that they had in the first place has dis uh, just disappeared. And now it's just some kind of hybrid mix. 
and this does happen in other pet trades. However, in my scenario, I will never get rid of these frogs. These frogs will always stay inside my tank, um, and that'll be it. I will not sell them or put them into the market. So I've addressed all the points against hybridization, and there's nothing wrong with looking after your own frogs in your own tank. The only problem they have is about these hybrids getting out. And I've explained to them that they won't get out. I will look after them um, and they will live out their days in, in my care. And they say, uh, they start grabbing at straws and saying stuff like, oh, what if you die? Um, if you die, then they'll, they might get passed on to somebody else. Now, this is just ridiculous because somebody could burgle your house, steal your frogs and put them in the same tank. What are you going to do? Put a laser alarm system on your frog on your frogs, or have them in a separate locked rooms each species? It's absolutely ridiculous, and quite a few people have um, ganged up on me and and made me feel really bad, and um, just just thrown personal insults at me, which it's just unnecessary because at the end of the day, uh, frog people interested in frogs are quite rare. There's not many people that you'll meet in your normal life that are interested in frogs, so we should all be looking after each other. And at the end of the day, this is it. It's a frog tank. That's all we're talking about. It's not worth bullying people and putting people down over a frog... It's literally a, a frog tank, 24 inches by 18 by 18. There's frogs in there, ha happily roaming about, eating, getting fat... Uh, getting along with each other, they're all thriving. They wouldn't be socially bonding and, and mating with each other if it wasn't fine. Um, so they're all fine. Um, so the message out is there's no excuse for uh, bullying or insulting people or putting people down. We won't stand for it in the dark frog group. Um, many groups do. I mean, I've been kicked out of God knows how many groups just for saying that I've got these frogs. Nobody gives me any advice whatsoever. They just try and put me down and um, say horrible things. And it's just ridiculous. I mean, I give up my spare time making videos on youtube.com slash DIY herbs. I do that all for free. Any money that's made from advertisement revenue goes straight back into this hobby to make new videos. I make barely anything, 2p every thousand views or something like that. I do it all just to help people understand more about their animals and so they can make lovely tanks like this. Um, you know, I give up my own time. So, yeah, the moral of the story is, you know, cut out the bullying, stop being horrible to each other. As long as the frogs are okay, that's the main, the main thing. I've had a few people actually say, well, these tadpoles need killing. I'm not going to kill an animal. I'm not going to breach animal rights just because you've got a problem with hybrids. That's just bang out of order. I love frogs. I don't particularly love the hobby, in, i.e. promoting breeders at the expense of animals. Animal safety will be my top priority. I will not kill an animal just because you've got a problem with hybrids. So that's ridiculous. Don't even bother talking to me about that again. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, enough about that. That's all done and dusted. I've blocked quite a few people for for sort of bullying tactics and harassment. I mean, I've been harassed by so many people um, following me around the groups and harassing me on posts. It's ridiculous. Um, so they're all been banned now. Um, and I've invited quite a few German hobbyists to our group now that can offer a lot in experience with dart frogs. So the, the, the main dart frog book that you can get is the Captive Care and, and Advanced Biology of dart frogs by Stefan Lotters and uh, Schmidt. It's one of the best books you can get and it's really well written, explains all you need to know about dart frogs and this all originated from Germany. They've had dart frogs around uh, as pets a lot longer than we have uh, and it's a lot more common there as well. Their reptile and amphibian scene is just amazing compared to the UK. Um, so I've invited a few of them to come to the group and also I have a friend that um, did a degree in zoology and herpetology that I'll be getting together with and we'll be making videos about um, just dart frogs, current research out there, scientific research, uh, the best plants, uh, the trending things in the hobby, um, anything like that. We'll be doing like a little vlog 
at least weekly. So we've got a lot to look forward to in the Dark Frog group. And I do hope that you all enjoy being able to just say whatever you want um, within reason. I mean, you can you can express any kind of opinion, but you can't be negative or insult people personally. You've got to stay reasonable. But you can admit to anything. Uh, the, the, the actual owner of the group um, that put, put the group into my hands um, had a vivarium with a tree boa in and a group of Dendrobates leucomelus which a lot of people would frown upon. Um, the, the tree boa never went for any of the frogs. Um, they lived happy little lives. Um, they did really well, started breeding, um, but in the end he just had to uh, get rid of them. But it was interesting because in the wild they would be in proximity to stuff like snakes and, uh, and lizards, and there's quite a lot of people in the group that also mix their tanks with anoles and um, oh, felzumas, Willy Amsies, just these tiny lizards that you can um, keep in your dart frog tanks as well. I don't want people to feel like they can't express that they've got that in their tanks, as I know that a lot of them do, uh, but they're quite scared of, of saying anything about it. So um, I hope this video has helped to sort of straighten things out so people understand what's actually happened and, and um, the sort of witch hunt that's unnecessary about these hybrids. As long as people don't pass this on into the market and dilute the gene pool of dart frogs in the pet trade, it really isn't a problem at all. It's not a problem. Not a single person has given me a reason as to why it would be a problem if the, the, you know, the frogs are happy, um, it's not corrupting bloodlines. There's literally no, no, nothing wrong with it. It's literally you in your own home with your own... Uh, glass jungle um, it's your own thing so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this video and peace out there are also a number of different zoos in the United Kingdom that keep mixed species dark frog terrariums these zoos are all subject to the Zoo Licensing Act 1981 which was designed for the welfare of animals zoos must adhere to a number of conditions firstly they must have a high standard of animal care and the zoo must be suitable for the types of animals that they are keeping the zoo is also inspected very regularly um, every single year and the zoo must keep records on animal health numbers and species acquisitions births de deaths with causes disposals and escapes they are also subject to the Animal Welfare Licensing of Activities Involving Animals England Regulations 2018, which impose even more conditions on keeping records, keeping records of the health of animals, providing suitable environments, suitable diets, monitoring the behaviour of the animals and protecting the animals from pain, suffering, injury and disease. Now all these zoos are regularly checked by the local authority um, which will um, outsource a specialist in the field or a vet. Now, if there was any problem with mixing species, this would have been flagged at each one of these zoos, yet it hasn't. So if anybody's got a problem with mixed species, they should lobby the government and try and get something changed. But in my opinion, I side with the local authorities and think that there's nothing wrong with it. Thank you for listening.